The conference, arguably one of the biggest capacity building programs on the African continent, brought together seasoned professionals and academics in the health sector to deliberate on matters on health on the African continent. The West African Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens at the University of Ghana and its research partners have been selected as one of the 14 leading science consortia to receive funding under phase two of the Developing Excellence in Leadership Training and Science in African program. According to the founding director of the West African Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens, Professor Gordon Awandari, the Deltas II program is to build on the successes from the Deltas I by providing high quality training and advanced research on the mechanisms underlying the development of infectious diseases and non communicable diseases. So far, less than 10, probably about five African countries have done this. South Africa is one of them. Um, most African countries have not, you know, taken the steps to commit more resources to research on an ongoing and sustainable basis. It's not when there's a pandemic or when there's fear and panic that we go and start putting our fires and, and putting some money for the research institutions. We need to fund, it, fund research as an ongoing you know, concern. It means that every year in our national budget, we should dedicate some money to research. And um, this government, um, you know, took the right step by uh, passing a bill to establish a research and innovation fund. Uh, but unfortunately, it hasn't been operationalized because the, ha the, f the you know, startup funding has not been put into the, uh, uh, you know, the fund. So it is time for us to operationalize that. Professor Awandari called for the COVID-19 levy to be channeled into funding health research for the country to be able to respond to health emergencies without hiccups. Um, currently, we have a COVID levy. Right, and I have suggested that from next year, now that we are quite confident that COVID is behind us for the most part, let's redesignate that COVID levy as a research levy and put that towards the research and innovation fund. And what that does is that you create, um, you know, a mechanism for Ghanaians to bring innovative ideas so every year you have you put some money available for people to compete for with ideas and then you 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 know commission an institution such as the ghana academy of arts and sciences to you know go through the applications go you know select the best ideas the most innovative ideas and let's put some money on it you know it doesn't mean that all of them would lead to discoveries or new products but some of them would you know, that's how innovation works. You try a lot of wild new ideas, some would lead to something. You understand? If you look at all innovations across the world, normally you try new ideas and that's how you get innovation. The, uh, the uh, new economists, they've shown us that. You know, Singapore, even China, they, they, they've led with innovation and they make things for us to buy. But they invested in research and science before they go to that place. We don't want to invest, but we want to benefit. The Delta Africa 2 program, which was launched in Kenya, is a 70 million US dollar program jointly funded by Wellcome Trust and the United Kingdom Foreign Commonwealth Research and African Scientific Leaders for the continent while strengthening African institutions. Richard Kwejenyako reporting for Joy News.